Welcome back. At least two people were killed and another severely injured during violent protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. You may have seen this. People there are protesting the shooting of an African-American man named Jacob Blake by the cops. Blake was shot several times by police after resisting arrest. His family says he's paralyzed from the waist down. The investigation is still ongoing and many are encouraging never to jump to conclusions about this, though obviously in the streets it's a different story. Steve Rogers, uh, member of President Donald J. Trump for Presidency Advisory Board and retired military intelligence officer and FBI National Joint Terrorism Task Force, retired, is joining us live here. Um, thank you so much for, for coming on, uh, Steve. Good to see you again. I want to talk to you about this, the unrest we saw in Kenosha. We now know Two were killed already. A third was shot and injured. Um, and we've seen the unrest. We've saw businesses burned down. And we've heard from families that have lost everything because of this. From They've owned a local-owned business there for so many years. Their family passed down. They've lost that. You've got loss of life. You've got the National Guard coming in. Um, but then there's no, there's no outcry for more federal agents to come in, despite the president coming in and saying he wants to help. Well, there's a couple of things we need to put in perspective. Number one, uh, all of this violence has been started and fueled by the rhetoric of uh, many political leaders. In this case, it's the leaders of that city and that state who prejudge the police. Uh, as you said in your opening, this investigation has not been concluded. Uh, no one knows exactly what was in the vehicle. So there's a lot of facts that need to come out. So they're just adding fuel to the fires that we're seeing in that city. With regard to the president, yes, he has offered over and over and over again to have uh, federal law enforcement officers to come in and to help the police. Again, you have the city officials and government officials who happen to be Democrats uh, are refusing that help. So they have politicized something that is very, very tragic, and it's going to create more problems, not only in that particular city, but it's a flashpoint for problems around the country. See, but at this point, many are asking this, and we've had law enforcement on this show earlier today to talk about it. You now have loss of life. At what point do these governors, do these mayors realize this can't be about politics anymore? We need to save people and put them ahead of politics, our citizens. Well, that's a very good question, and the answer is I don't know at what point. It seems to me that uh, they're just going to continue to go on and on with their rhetoric and allow buildings to get burned. I will say this, though. I think it is extremely important, and maybe this is going to be the point they're going to have to uh, uh, own up to this. Extremely important that the police let us know, was there a weapon in the car? Was there something in that car that uh, caused the police officer to believe that his life was in danger? I believe once that information is out, one way or the other, this is going to come to an end. Yeah, and even the, the, the family of the victim in this that is recovering, um, they even said this unrest has got to stop, and, and, and the gentleman that was shot wouldn't even want this, uh, burning their own city to the ground. They've called for this as well in a press conference, which you don't see making the rounds a lot, but that actually happened. Uh, really quickly, though, before we go, I want to ask you about this RNC Night 3 tonight, Land of Heroes. What do you expect for tonight, Night 3, sir? Well, I believe that we're going to see many of those heroes who were on the front lines talking about how great America is and all the assistance that they got from the president that they received from uh, his administration, which is not told very much. So as one uh, as I heard one person say, as the uh, DNC brought the sunset on America, President Trump and the RNC is beginning to make the sun rise once again on this great land. Well, I know a lot of folks are excited about it. I'm sure you'll be watching as well. Steve Rogers joining us live. Steve, thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. You got it. We'll bring in our panel now to react. Jenny Beth Martin.